by traveling around the world, you see there's, there's universal uh, methods to help humans rebalance themselves and reconnect with the love of the universe. You could say it this way, yeah. It's a simple truth, but nature holds everything for a happy existence. Like all our food comes from nature. The things we wear come from nature. The things we use to build our house come from nature. But then we construct these cities where nature is, is no longer evident, you know? And if it is, it's like it's some polluted river that's going down, you know, a cement duct that's been made or something like this, you know? We, we've altered our existence in most cities. There are exceptions, of course. But the vast majority of people are, you know, walking on concrete, uh, driving, you know, motor driven, going into air conditioning buildings, and there's, they've lost the connection with nature. And why is nature so important? Philosophically, you know, you could say, for example, this question, the mysteries of life, you know, what is truth? What is life? You know, how should we live? These kind of things. The answers are right here in nature. Once the mind gets involved, anything can happen. You, know, you have, you, there's deformations of all, of all types. And once a society separates itself from the natural way of life, these, um, yeah, uh, what's the what's a good word for them? I'm trying to I'm, I'm searching for a word that doesn't sound so negative, but <clears throat> um, I would describe them as unnatural. I guess that's the best word to say. It's an unnatural way to live, and when you're living in an unnatural way, diseases happen, psychological diseases, behavioral patterns. Uh, health habits, unnatural. One thing that I did learn by studying and researching about native culture in what they call the Western Hemisphere is that they had the utmost respect for nature and the natural order of life. In a, in, a, in a pristine setting, for example. They were very careful not to upset the natural environment. And they strove to fit into this perfect environment by having the least amount of impact. And in this way, they were able to harness the maximum amount of the natural setting. And you can do this on an individual basis. And you can also help the society move back to this state. And this in itself will, will in, like as individually and also in terms of where humanity is going, there needs to be um, a, a rebalancing of the natural way of living with the modern technology that's been developed. I think if you take a holistic approach to this to this uh, situation, so we exist on multiple levels. So.
So to properly analyze a person's present state, I think you have to look at their physical being, you have to look at their mental processes, their emotional states, what, and, and then par probably the most important part, which is the least amount of attention that receives is your energetic self. And most cultures understand this. I mean, you could, you could say spirit, you could say, you know, your chakra body, your astral body. In some societies, this is already being promoted as uh, a foundation for health. Uh, you can see the correlation between the physical and the energetic body, for example, if you study the chakras and the endocrine system. And the hormones that are produced in the endocrine system are directly related to the energetic level of the chakras. So a person that has uh, malfunctioning in their like pineal gland that's not producing enough serotonin and they're depressed if you could see their energetic body you would see that their that their chakra is not functioning properly the movement of the chakra would be the light would be dull the movement would be like this and so on and so forth like people are suffering from anxiety so their their adrenals are overworked because this is in nature you don't you're you're usually relaxed you know the color green is relaxing the color blue is relaxing to touch the earth is relaxing so you're not your your adrenals are not overworked you know okay if you see a wild animal or you know you're in a storm or something then your body activates this for the necessary energy that you need whereas in a society you're driving on a freeway you know you're going to go to a business meeting you don't know if you're going to lose a thousand dollars you don't you know the traffic is you're late you're on a plane your adrenals are overworked so when you come to these ceremonies what happens is that for example if we analyze our existence at the cellular, molecular, atomic level, there's a certain movement that's generating health. 